Adoption of the original manufacturing Kanban to knowledge-based work started with a jump right into software development. And though other industries have begun to follow the trend fairly quickly, today Kanban is still very popular and well-suited for software development processes. Kanban allows the creation of a continuous workflow, one with as little waiting time between process stages as possible, where incoming items are dealt with in a steady and timely manner. Also, because the process is visibly accessible, recorded, and easy to alter, customer change requests can be addressed very quickly. What we're looking at is a simple Kanban tool board illustrating a software development process with just two card colors, one for regular and one for urgent tasks. This team is currently working on three projects, represented by swim lanes, the rows of the table. The requirements gathering column is a project backlog. This is where user stories, general preconditions, and loose ideas get placed. Once these make it further into being accepted for development, their cards are moved to requirement analysis or get archived as not acted upon. Analysis is where final preparations and discussion with stakeholders take place. From here, items reach the development stage. Modules and features are queued up in waiting and assigned to specific team members. As developers become available, they pick tasks from waiting and place them in working on. After this, it's time to test the code. Quality assurance column is split into two stages in the same way that requirements are, waiting and doing. Here, however, tasks don't receive team member assignments. Instead, any available tester picks up the topmost card and starts working on it. If tests prove the items to work correctly, Cards can be moved further right into verified, but if the work presents bugs, cards are reversed to development and start their journey once more. Oftentimes, this process loop repeats before modules are successfully verified. Once checked and confirmed, the software modules are ready to be deployed. After that, all that's left to do with the cards is to move them to done and later archive for the record. Thanks to use of swim lanes, our team is able to progress a number of different projects without becoming confused and losing track of their tasks. Also, in the event of any tie-ups in one project, the team can move focus to items in the other ones, making good use of their time. Workflow visualization, along with use of work-in-progress limits and measuring the average lead time of item completion, make up Kanban's three core principles. Following these, Teams become better equipped to meet their goals and wrap their heads around what needs doing next. The WIP limit is applied to these columns and is set to one task per person. With this, the team stands a good chance of ensuring high quality performance with as few corrections needed as possible. This board is using a number of extra features, namely the calendar widget highlighting due dates, interactive checklists, which let the team see and tick off to-do lists directly from the board view, checklist templates that allow making ready-made to-do lists to be included in any task with one click, task summary showing chosen information on the card fronts. Thanks to following the work items progress online, the team is able to collaborate with developers from around the world and maintain close-knit communication between all employees in one easy-to-use application. The amount of time and discussion saved by having everything in one place is great, but increased efficiency, clear overview of progress, and better process predictability are the top benefits of using Kanban Tool. Why not try it out with your development team for free at KanbanTool.com?